Hello everyone, welcome back to Explore Electronics. In this video, let us see important questions on basic electrical engineering subject. And these are very important for the exam point of view. Starting with module 1, the chapter 1 is DC circuits. Here, you can easily expect the theory questions like Ohm's law, Kirchhoff's law. Out of these two, one question will be there from the theory part. So, Kirchhoff law is very important here. KCL and KVL, you need to uh, state the laws and you need to explain with respect to the expressions are concerned by taking any example. Similarly, you need to explain Ohm's law. So, here Ohm's law limitations is also important. Uh, they may ask to explain Ohm's law with their limitations. And then uh, coming to the definitions like power, energy with units, uh, they may ask to write the definitions of these. And this is very important question. Prove that maximum power is transferred from one uh, source to load when load resistance is equal to source resistance. So this is the maximum power transfer uh, theorem we can expect in exam. And you can see the model question paper they have asked Kirchhoff loss also. And some problems on series parallel uh, circuits and series resistance, parallel resistance and combination of those. And to find the power and energy that kind of problem can also appear and problem on maximum power transfer and as I said KVL KCL problems they may ask. This is chapter 1 and coming to chapter 2 in module 1 that is single phase circuits. The first thing is generation of single phase AC voltage with a neat diagram. Here diagram carries maximum marks and then you need to explain how AC voltage is going to be generated. This is also an important question. And then coming to definition like questions, these are the different parameters they may ask what is RMS value of AC quantity, what is average value, peak factor, what is frequency, amplitude like that. Uh, you may hardly get this question. Uh, this is not so important in this chapter since there are many important questions. So you can expect generation of single phase and also there are derivations here uh, to derive the expression for RMS value of the AC quantity and uh, average value of the alternating quantity. We can expect one question out of these two and uh, prove that power consumed in a pure resistor circuit or pure inductive circuit or pure capacitive circuit and uh, power consumed is equal to zero in an inductive and capacitive circuit question may be asked. This is asked many times in the previous examination also. Other than uh, asking pure resistive circuit, they may ask pure inductance and pure capacitance circuit. And problems on again those uh, two things that is inductive reactance and capacitance you need to be find out. Those kind of questions will be appeared. And also problems to find RMS value, instantaneous uh, equations of current and voltage, form factor, peak factor, these questions uh, repeatedly asked. So this is chapter 2 in module 1. Here we need to uh, more concentrate on pure inductive and pure capacitive circuit. And then in module 2, again coming to the definition type question, here we need to define real power, reactive power, what is apparent power. This kind of question may be asked if they have not asked uh, any other theory question, they may ask like define questions. Here one mark will be for the definition and one more mark they may allocate for the expression if it is there. You need to write the exp explanation as well as expression. And then coming to the second question with a neat diagram and phasor diagram, impedance triangle, explain analysis of series RL circuit or uh, series RC circuit or RLC circuit. So this is very very important question. This question may appear. Here they may not uh, give like with need diagram explain or phasor diagram to be written, impedance triangle to be written. It is understood that if they are asking to explain the analysis of these circuits, you need to write the impedance triangle, phasor diagram and circuit also. So this is under related expressions. And then explain generation of three phase power with need diagram. This question can also be asked. And advantages of three phase system over single phase. This is also asked many times in the previous exams. And in a three phase uh, star connected system and also in a delta connected system, 
you need to deduce or derive the relationship between the phase and line voltages and currents so this is also a question repeatedly asked they may ask star connected system or delta connected system and you need to derive the relationship and then uh, show that three phase power can be measured using two watt meters this is also asked in the exam in previous exams this is also important and one more question here we can uh, say is define power factor with its significance so here you can you need to concentrate on uh, first thing is rc circuit rl circuit and uh, rlc circuit and then generation of three phase and then coming to the three phase and uh, three phase star connection and delta connection the relationship this is uh, theory part of questions <clears throat> coming to problems obviously problems on rl rc circuits so if you read rl rc and rlc circuits you can solve the problem also and you can write the explanation with the expressions also so that is how you need to study these topics and also two watt meters method problem can be expected then coming to module 3 dc generator uh, operation and uh, construction details of the dc generator these two first two questions can be combinedly asked for uh, more marks otherwise they will ask to explain the operation of the dc generator with diagram and also to explain constructional details of generator with neat diagram and derive the expression for emf equation of a generator is also important here in module 3 and then write a note on back emf and its significance this question may be asked and there are other questions also like dc shunt motor or dc series motor uh, this question is asked repeatedly again and then coming to the transformer with a neat diagram explain principal operation of a transformer and transformer uh, types that is core and shell type transformer and one question will be there on transformer one question will be there on this type of motors or uh, principle of operation like that and then different losses in transformer can be asked and condition for maximum efficiency along with the load so these are the theory questions you may get in module 3 module 4 explain the concept of rotating magnetic field in induction motor with neat diagram and phasor diagram and then explain principle of operation of induction motor can also be asked and this is the third question is important here in module 4 that is explain the construction of squill cage and uh, slip ring rotors of induction motor and also explain the stator of that uh, define slip and mention its significance derive an expression for frequency of rotor current and then explain the principle of operation of three phase alternator that is synchronous generator this is also asked previously and this is also important seventh question explain silent pole and non silent pole rotor of synchronous generator and also explain the stator of alternator and emf equation the, that is derivation these are the eight questions uh, we can get as important in module 4 and then coming to the problems problems on induction motor to find uh, these things here i have given uh, some expressions also and also problems on synchronous generator can be asked in this unit then unit 5 the last unit with here uh, you can expect with neat diagram uh, single line diagram explain the concept of power transmission and distribution and uh, components of low voltage distribution system with neat sketches power rating and define an electrical energy unit and here you may get question like explain uh, two three concepts for five marks like explain write a note on mcb what is fuse like this and uh, what is electric shock how to um, mention the precautions against electric shock to avoid and what is the necessity of earthing earthing one question may be expected from this earthing part there are two types of earthing they may ask one question at least and then problem to calculate the electricity bill so these are the 10 important questions here in module 5 so these are some of the questions which are listed out here 
some questions may come out of this also but these are very important in basic electrical engineering